Hi ladies, this is Melanie Moores, and I, I uh, asked if there was any interest in doing an envelope mini album, and this is part one of construction of the envelopes. Okay, so what I'm using here, I'll show you all the products I'm using. These right here are a little over five by seven envelopes with the flap. It's a triangular flap. A square flap will still work. And um, I'll, I'll, we'll figure out how many we need, depending on how, how big you want your album to be. But this is what uh, they are, is Recollections Envelopes. Okay, you get the cards and the envelopes, and I just pretty much use the envelopes. Okay, and then the next item I will be using is uh, this art glitter glue. And uh, it's not just for glitter. It is a good, fast drying, very strong glue. And uh, I have it in a smaller bottle because it's easier to use. You, it, have, it has a little tip on it. And it has this pin in it to keep it from clogging up. This is one of the best glues, wet glues, that you can use. Okay. And then the other adhesive that I will be using is... Uh, score type uh, this is uh, by Amazon I'll get this as Amazon this is a quarter inch right here and it's a um, double-sided score pal tape and this is a generic kind I got and this is 3 8 inch and uh, then I will be using this tool if you notice on this tool it's very pointy it's got adhesive on there right now Let's see here. I've got, I'm sorry, I've got ink all over my hands from a prior project. Let's see here. Um, you see it's real pointy, but it's got adhesive on it right now. Let's see if I can get some of that off. Um, and it helps me take the, the tape off. Okay. Let's see. See that better? How point? This is like an awl. Okay. Okay. So uh, here we go. This is the first thing you want to do is get two envelopes two single envelopes and put your tape on it or your glue I'll just use glue um, because this is the easiest one I put it in the corners real well right here fold it over hold on let me move this out of the way <laughs> And, and press that down real well to burnish that uh, good seal. And my hands are so messed up. I was working earlier. I've got distress ink, but it's not going to hurt anything. Because uh, whatever comes off on the envelopes, I'll just use it. Okay, so there's one. The next one, you can use the tape. I'll show you. You can use the tape or the wet adhesive um, on the tape. I just put it on there. Hold it and tear. I love this because you can tear it and you don't have to put your, you're not constantly putting your scissors down, picking them back up to cut the tape at the length you want it. So I burnished it with my finger, you know, to get it to um, adhere well to the envelope. I'm taking my tool here and I am just, I have this little scissor where I just get it up on the edge there, put my finger and take it up. Put it underneath it. All you have to do is loosen it and pull it off. Now, these little scraps are so much easier for me to pick up than the red line ones. So, that's why I like the tear tape, which is the score tape. I think it's a better adhesive. Red tape is good. It's a very strong adhesive. So, I'm not knocking it. I just don't like cutting it. I don't like to put my scissors down, put them back up and all that. So, now we have two envelopes. Two single envelopes that we sealed up. They're sealed on both sides, right? So I already sealed on this side. We sealed it here and we sealed this one. So put those up there and let's do a double one. You're going to open up this flap and look at have it looking towards you. It's going to be the outside of it, not the inside where, let's like, say, you would put a letter in it. You're going to look on the outside of it. Take your tape or your lead adhesive, I would say. 
use your tape, okay? And get as close to the score line as you can. And I'm going to do a double row here. I'm going to burn this down real well. Okay. Now, you did this on one flap of the two envelopes. Okay. And the, the opening is on the inside. You know, facing down on the mat. Get your other envelope. And you want to put them inside the inside wait i'm sorry outside the outside okay you understand that see i put the tape on the flap with the um I, well if you look at it i put it on the flap of it where the opening is okay uh, where the opening is i put it at the top where the opening is but i had it flipped over so um you only have to put the tape on one envelope so you open up that flap, you take the other one, you open up that flap. Now you want to put them, this is the closed side of the envelope, and you have another closed side. So your opening is right here, down on that. You put these together, okay, see here's one and here's the other one. Now, I'm just going to put it down so I can lift my tape up. And I'm going to put a little, oops, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on it as well. Oops. And just to get a good hold. See how nice a line that comes out on there. It comes out so sparingly and it does, does go a long way. Now, with, uh, you're going to tap it together. Hold on, my camera's too far down. Let's see, here we go. Okay, you're going to tap it together, and now you've got your tape. You want your score lines to be just meeting, okay? So tap it together, and put that flap, glue those two flaps together like that. Okay, so what you have is an opening here, an opening here, and the flap is glued together. But when you open it up, you have this right here, okay? So on the inside is your flap, glued together. You have an opening here, opening here. We're gonna do, um, I, I'm gonna show you just how to do this first one. And, but for the album, do two of them. Okay, but we're not done with this yet. What I'm going to do is, usually I give this a little time to dry, but I'm long-winded, so it's probably good and dry. And I use the dry adhesive, pretty much. Um, so let me show you the next step in processing this signature of an envelope. Take your cutter, and you want to cut right here. Give it like a three-quarter inch uh, margin. Okay, you want to cut it about right to where it changes. On the end here, uh, it's angled, and right there at that angle, that's where you want to cut. I'll show you here in just a second. Let me cut mine. Get in there. Down. Okay, this is what you have left over. You don't need it. Throw it in the back. And this is what you have now. You have this little flap right here. It's already glued together because we glued the flaps together. Take your scissors, and you can just eyeball this. Cut a V up to the score line, but not into the score line. Okay? See, I didn't cut into it. I just cut up to it. I have two flaps now. We're going to put some pockets on there. Okay, so let's construct the pockets. We need two pockets. I'm going to take... That's not what I need. Let's see. I need a piece of eight and a half by eleven inch paper, craft paper, same size as um, I mean same color as the uh, envelopes. Okay, I'm getting one. It's over here. <laughs> I'm having trouble getting it. Okay, there we go. Now you want to cut it on this side, on the long side. This is the long side. 
You want to cut it at four inches right here. Okay. You want to cut two of them. So four inches and then that strips off and then cut it again at four inches again. So you want two pieces and it's going to be eight and a half inches long. So you put the 11 inch side in, line it up with your four inches, cut. This is what you wind up with, okay? Do another one. Okay, and this is put aside for tags or something. Right now we're concerned with these two things. Okay, so let me put that. Now the next thing I have to use is, I, I don't know if everybody has one of these, but you can do that if you have a scorer on your cutting uh, mat, I mean cutting uh, thing, then score it on there. But I have a scoreboard that I use, and I'm going to score these. Let me put it on there and show you. All right. <laughs> I'm putting it on here. Let's see if I'm in my in, in camera view very well. Let's see. Let's move it over a little bit so we can see better. Um, it's not wanting to pick up the whole thing, but I think you'll get the idea. So I want to score at four inches right here. Oh, let me move it down. So you can maybe see the numbers. Here's four inches right here. Score it all the way down. A couple times and then you want to score it at eight okay and I'm not pressing real hard because it will tear your paper but uh, hard enough to make a score line now we're going to do that on the second one as well put that in on the um, eight and a half inch side uh, length score at four and score it eight. And I'll show you what that leaves you. Okay. So that's all we need to score more for right now. Okay, so take this and fold in that half inch. Okay, if this is eight and a half and we scored it four and eight, then you've got a half inch here that you've up uh, going to you to make your when you tape it this is what's going to have in your pocket so i'm going to use glue because that's what's uh, available right this moment you can use tape or the glue because this dries really fast and i'm going to turn this back down and now take the next one fold that half inch in Fold it the four, four inch um, fold uh, sc score line. Okay, and I'm gonna put some glue on it. And run it set down. So now we have two pockets to add to our little slips that we made, and that second those two envelopes that we joined okay so we have these two now these measure four by four right yeah four by four okay that's why we cut this b in this okay it's the part of the flap that we cut off so i'm going to use tape the score tape and i'm going to put score tape on both sides but watch, you only want to do this on one side at a time. Okay, because it's so hard to manage unless you're really good at it and you do it a lot. It's hard to manage getting things on straight and nice and tidy um, we, if you take off both sides of tape at once. So now we're going to just burnish that down a little bit. When I press on this side, it presses on the other side, so... I'm going to take my tool, and I'm going to uh, lift that tape and pull it off. And I'm just, um, for video purposes, I would go ahead and do the other one too, but we're just going to do one at a time. I'm going to, uh, now see the other side 
how safe on it still, but I'll show you how to get that off in just a second. You want to fit this on, and it's gonna, they're going to overlap. You want to fit it on right up to the score line, but not on it, okay? And burnish that one down, fold it in, okay? And do the same thing with this one. Go ahead and take this piece off. Something's in the, <laughs> I've got a nylon fiber or something. Now, this one you want to line up at the bottom. Okay, you want it to be even at the bottom. So it's going to overlap in the middle. Line it up uh, next to your score line, but not on the score line. And press down on this side. Fold it over. Now look, you've got, it's on there. Okay, it's not going to come off. But you want it to be adhered well, right? So now you turn it over and you open it up just a little bit. Okay, you take your tool, get it in there with your thumb and your finger, lift it up, pull it out, press it down. You don't even have to worry about it because you know you've got it already in the right position from the front side. Do the top one, lift it up. See how that just came up from my tool? I reach in, I grab it, and then press down. And voila, we have two pockets for our double envelope signature okay so at this point now we have two singles and a double so we have three signatures now the next thing we need are three envelopes and this by far is a little bit the most hardest to uh, understand and explain uh, if I can explain this without having to stop and redo this video. Okay. You've got three envelopes. And I just took them out of the stack and they're all the same. Open up two of them. And put them together. Stack them together. No glue. Nothing like that right yet. Take the other one. Okay. And take the flap. And fold it back. And hold, you know, hold that down. Now... Put it down on your mat here. Let's see, there you go. And here's your opening. Just flaps underneath, okay? Here's your opening right here. Take these two envelopes. They're not glued together, okay? Because so we're going to do this uh, different. But this is our third one. Third signature. We're going to put some glue on here. And we're going to re-glue it once I get it in and place the well. I'm going to open this up and slide it in just up to this score line here. I don't want it to go over or it won't open and close properly. So, and I test it by doing that. So, press down right where I glued it here. Now, I can put some more glue in there to hold this down once you get that in there in place well. Okay. So, now we have this envelope you put the flap of the two envelope now this one don't yank it out because it's just in there right now okay we slip two in now you're going to take it see the flap that was underneath we're going to take this flap and we're going to put glue on the flap here like this and this or the tape, either one, using the glue because it's easiest to do right now. Okay, and I want to take this second envelope. I want to make sure that I've got it lined up real well, and let's just, and that flap is going to stick down onto this one. Now it's a little hard to fold over. Just make it do what you want it to do. Bend the paper, okay? Okay, now, so now we've got this, we've got this, and this. But we want a binding edge. So on this one, you want to keep looking until you find this opening here. That, didn't, that, that one did not work. Hold on, I've got to fix this. 
sometimes you have to take it apart, and I'm not sure this is going to work, because that glue dries so well. It just didn't, um, I didn't get it placed right. I want it to be able to fold. So what I might do is fold it, press it in, and then fold this over. Let's see if that works. Um, let's see that, that. I'm just going to turn it so that I have the this uh, binding opening here. And I'm not going to have it re-glue this flap, although it's sticking. I'm going to go ahead and get it lined up in here nicely. I'm going to tuck it in. That's the hard part about the third set. Okay. And then now, now once you get it settled, re-glue it. <laughs> Because what you want on this is a way to put it on your um, binding strip in your mini album. Okay, you want this opening here. Okay, so we've got one envelope here. And we've got um, this one and this one. The first one we put in and it was held with the glue. Then the other one... We took the flap that was underneath. Where is it? That's not it. And that's this flap right here. Let me show you again with another set of envelopes. Okay. Another set. I'm not going to blow them. I'm going to show you what you have to do. But you have three now. Okay. So that's your third and three. I make two. Make two of these for your album. Okay. You want. Two sets of the three grouping, two sets of the single, and two sets of this. And that's what you need for your album, unless you want more pages. So, let me show you how to do that. Third one again. Take two envelopes, place them together. Here's the opening on this one, and here's the opening on this one. You're just going to place them together. No glue. Set on my side for a second. Take the third envelope. Open it up and turn the flap down. Put it on your surface. Okay. These two that are here together, you're going to put glue on the top one only. Oh, just on the perimeter here. Not on the whole, not on this part yet. Okay. We're going to slide it in. And meet at the center line on the fold line. So what I like to do is I like to get it in there. And I know I've got it good. And it's measured right because I just picked it up and made it go where I want, needed it to go. Then I add extra glue to glue it down. Because I don't know where to put that glue yet. When I'm putting that flap in, so I just put it on that edge, and then I go back and re-glue it. Okay, now, so now we have the first one attached. The two that we slid in, that's the first one. So now here's our flap right here, right, ladies? Take your flap, and you want to glue that flap down on this third one. But you want to open it up, fold it back, so you see... That you have this opening here for your binding. Let me show you that again. Here's her flap that was down on the table. Here's her third envelope. Fold it back onto that flap. Don't you can just say like, not glue it yet. And get it lined up nice and good so you've got your binding straight here. Okay. Then take it, set it down, and open it up halfway. Get some glue on that. And you see I'm not, I'm not using a lot right now. Because I want to keep that in place. And then when I open it. Okay. I can go ahead and add some right here. Where I couldn't get to when it was down. So I guess that's a little bit easier explanation. 
snail. Now we have two of the three envelopes, and here's your binding. So here's your three envelope sets. Here's your double envelope set. And here's your single envelope set. Now, the next thing you want to do is you're going to have to take off some edges, okay? Uh, because you want to be able to slip a photo mat in there. Let me get the pen in my glue here so it doesn't dry out. Uh, and clog up. Okay. Put that there. Okay. So, uh, you want to get your cutter again? Okay, here's my cutter. And I want to take off. This is a single one. Okay, single one's very important because you do it differently. On a single one, you move it on there, and you want to cut the smallest amount off that you possibly can. Okay? And I'm talking about, look, that big, I mean, tiny, tiny, tiny sliver. You want to cut it. So now you have one side open. You need a binding side, right? So take it and cut another sliver off the other side. Yes, they'll be up and see that one's even thinner. Okay, so you do that to both of your single envelopes and they'll look like this. Like your pocket did. Okay. Now on your double one. Hang on, that's the triple one. Uh no it's not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where's the double one for you? Now on your double one. First I want to look at it and see if it came out nice and even. And open it up. Now you only want to cut on the outside of each envelope. Not these. Just the envelope edges here. So slide it in. And just take that little sliver off. That you want to get off. So you can <laughs> open it up. Okay. Now it's open. Flip it around. And do the same thing on the other envelope. That's attached. Take off the tiniest little sliver you can possibly use on your cutter. Okay. And that one just barely made it. I mean, these are tiny, tiny, tiny. And now you have uh, your double with pockets with um, photo mat placements here. And then you have your little, we're going to make tabs to hold those closed. Okay. One more thing on your double one is you've got to make this one. It doesn't have a binding edge, okay? So we have to make a binding edge. And it helps the development and the design of the uh, signature. So remember that piece we had left over? I said save it to make tags with or something. We want to use it. And I'm looking at this right now. And if I score this at half inch and half inch, or a little over, uh, you want a strip that is um, one inch larger than the length of your envelopes because you're going to score it half inch, half inch, fold it in, and glue it on. So let's say this mine's like seven and an eighth. I want this to be eight and one eighth. Okay, but I'm just eyeballing it. So, let's see if I can get it right by just looking at it. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to score at not half it by mine. I'm going one more past that, because I think I'm going to need to, to get that to be right. Let's see if I did that right. And it depends on what size envelopes you're using, too. So I can't give you a complete measurement. All I can tell you is it's an inch larger than the size of your envelope. You have to have that half inch to connect. Oh, look at that. I did that good. Okay. So now this is what we're going to have. And I'll shut. Uh, go ahead. Flip it over. And here's the two pieces. See, I scored it here and scored it there. I'm going to put a little tape on it. So it holds instantly 
when I put it on and I'm going to reinforce it with some wet glue on both sides of it. Get my glue. Got my glue on there. Now I can take my tape off with my little tool here. I'm going to lift it up. So one's ready to go on. Now, see, that's the clear tape and the glue. I just went around the perimeter, not on that tape. This is tape. I just took the tab off. You can see that light and sticky. That's the tape. And see, I just went around the perimeter with the glue, not on the sticky. Because you, want the, you don't want to get that wet or it won't stick. Alright, so take it and you want to fit it on the length. Okay, here's the opening, right? You have this in the middle. This is the front. So we want to bind it. I mean, put this on where this edge is even with your edge here. Alright, like this. Okay. And I want to press it down. Real well. And this one down real well. Okay, and this is our, this is how we're going to attach it in the album. Yeah, it's not much of a, um, but if you glue that down real well, you won't have a problem with it staying in. Let me put a little bit of glue right there and hold it down a minute. But that's how you make a binding edge on your double envelopes. So now, ladies, that was the construction of your envelopes. Let's review. You want two of these double ones. You want two of the triple ones. Oh, on the triple ones, go ahead and cut just the edges off as well. Just a little smidgen on the edges, okay? And then your single ones, okay, you cut on both sides. So you want two singles, two doubles, and two triples. And the next part is coming up next. Thank you for watching the first part of the envelope tutorial.